What's up guys, Alex Duval here. As you can see from the title, in this video I'm going to talk about a big hand that Poker Bunny recently played on Hustler Livestream. This is a special $25.50 $100 stake game with Rampage, Poker Bunny, and Mariano, and Barry all at the same table. So all of our favorite poker vloggers and favorite personalities are at this table. I'm going to be playing the hand and then adding some commentary along the way. Let's see how this plays out. Never count your money when you're sitting next to Nikki. That's right. <laughs> so get it quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until the game is done. No way to walk away. Get a raise here from Ronnie with King, Queen, and Diamonds. I feel like we've seen King, Queen, and Diamonds six, seven times tonight. All right, so this hand starts off with Ronnie opening King, Queen of Diamonds under the gun to $400. This is 4X, so it's a bit bigger than I'd like to see, but probably completely fine for this game. RB makes the call on the button with pocket eights. Very standard. Poker Bunny makes the call on the small blind with pocket threes. This is also pretty standard. She's going to be set mining here, and it is important to note that Poker Bunny and Ronnie in this hand are the bigger stacks, while RB is the shorter stack. I've won it once, I think. I like that. I like that drawing 23 engineers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like pretty cool. It's pretty unique. Yeah, it's different. Two queens out there, queen, queen three, and uh, what a dream, dream flop for Poker Bunny. She has flopped the full house. Ronnie with trip queens. RB with a hand that he probably thinks might be still be good, and he's going to bet 600. And right after doubling up, Poker Bunny's got 28,000 in front of her. Ronnie with 27,000. How big is this pot going to get? Honorary Pleb says, here we go. Yes, here we go indeed. When you're sitting at the table, thanks for And Ronnie's not going to mess around. He's going to raise right away. I think RB can probably let it go. I mean, you bet you got called and then raised. Ever. It would be Barry. Actually, it would be RB. I love RB. Me too. RB's the best. Well, RB's going to make the call, and if you're Poker Bunny, you got to put at least one of these players on a queen, right? Do you just raise right now? Maybe one of them's got a heart draw, but the other one kind of has to have a queen, right? Do you raise now? Do you wait till the turn? Easy game when you get crayons, right? For sure. A lot to go over here. First of all, what are crowns? Have you guys ever heard pocket threes be called crowns? David Tuckman does a good job coming in here, but I just have never heard of that. Let me know if you guys have heard of that. Anyways, he does make a good point. RB calling the raise from Ronnie with pocket eights just seems really, really bad. I mean, he's going to be concerned with Poker Bunny calling it from the small blind. And then when Ronnie check raises on queen, queen three, He's obviously saying he has a queen. If he doesn't have a queen, he certainly has a hand that's better than pocket eights, or at least a hand that has tons of equity, right? So calling with pocket eights here, you're really only hoping to hit an eight on the turn. That's it. That's the only card that you're possibly going to continue with. So I think calling with pocket eights here is really lighting money on fire, but he makes the call anyways, and it goes to Poker Bunny, who is facing the check raise from Ronnie, I think she can't really do anything here but make the call. It would just look way too strong if she were to call then re-raise. I mean, that would just look so, so strong, right? And she does want to keep some of the bluffs in there that Ronnie may have. She wants to keep RB in the hand as long as possible as well. So I think calling here is a good decision from Poker Bunny. I do have to say Ronnie's raise is a bit small. He makes it 2,000 after RB bets 600, Poker Bunny calls 600. 
I would like to see, you know, six times three, 1800 plus 600 is 2400. So I think he could have at least gone 2400 a bit bigger, especially not having a heart. Someone could certainly have a heart draw in this hand that he would want to protect against. With that said, maybe the smaller size is fine because RB has a smaller stack, but Poker Bunny is still in the hand, so I would be concerned with her having a flush draw. Let's see what Poker Bunny ends up doing here. She does a full dance there. It looks like she might raise and then eventually just calls. I wonder if Ronnie picks up on that. He's uh, pretty good at live tells. The problem is hand is just too good. Kern does nothing. Poker Bunny quickly checks. All right, so we're going to go to a turn that is the four of spades. David Tuckman mentions Poker Bunny does some kind of dance and he wonders if Ronnie picks up on that tell. Not really sure exactly what he's talking about. I don't think Poker Bunny gave off any tell. I think it's too easy often to read into things that people do live and then just be completely wrong. I know I've done that plenty of times and I know Doug Polk talks about it often. You know, cool, he has a tell or he thinks I have a tell, whatever. Like, I would just not read into that too much. Um, I don't really know what David Tuckman's referring to. It's easy to say when we're seeing the hands and saying, oh, maybe she's moving a certain way because she has such a big hand. But I, I don't think there's anything there. Poker Bunny checks. Now let's see what Ronnie and RB end up doing. Yeah. If you're Ronnie, you're just trying to get value from a worse queen, right? I think there's more than one. Is it Pot is $7,400. Ryan what it is, but I think it's just 51, one. But you know how it goes, I mean, people straddle. No, I, don't, I don't want to kill their fun. 51, one, no, no, I'm in for two. If you come to a game and that's what you came to play, you should say you want to play it. I know that's how you feel, I feel a little different. I think if you come to a game and you're not ready to straddle, you should leave the game. I'm not saying you shouldn't be ready to straddle, but you don't have to pick the game, the game up and be on constant straddle. Sure, I mean, and Ronnie's going to bet 5,000. He's building this pot. He wants to get it all on the river. Because if we're for, you're promoting games like we are, yeah. and then three players want to play, and they're like, that's what they want to play, and they don't want to be in that position. Yeah, RB is shaking his head. I mean, I think at this point, you just got to, yeah, abort, abort mission, buddy. Ronnie ends up betting $5,000 into 7400 so a pretty good size bet. I like it. And RB finally gets out of the way and folds. And now action goes to Poker Bunny. She has a very interesting decision here. She could call or she could raise. I think if she's going to raise, she really only has one size and that is all in. It would be a bit of a big raise, a bit of a big jam. But the problem here with just calling is that if the river comes a heart, Poker Bunny is not going to lead, right? I mean, that's just not something you should be doing out of position. She's going to check and Ronnie could check back. Maybe he shouldn't be checking back. Maybe he should still be betting for value if the river was a heart. But I'm just saying, you know, if she were to check here, he could possibly check back if the river was a heart. So she could potentially lose a ton of value if she doesn't jam here. The chance that Ronnie has a bluff here is very, very minuscule, right? He like literally just has a queen and that's it. With that said, I think she could also just call and let Ronnie bet the river. Sure, there's a possibility he could have something like Ace King of Hearts, but I don't think Ronnie's the type of guy to bluff here like that. With that said, let's see what Poker Bunny ends up doing. And uh, very unlikely that Ronnie is ever bluffing here. Check raises two players, gets called by both players, and then continues. This is just almost always a queen. I always expect Stratus. Yeah, so that's kind of what I understand that, but I'm just, but since we're on that subject, that's how I feel about it. The way I like approach a game is like, if I'm going to a game, I just am like, okay, they're going to straddle probably. I feel if you're promoting games, then I think you have to let people trust what you're doing. I think raising here makes a lot of sense. And then 
they need to have the balls to say, you know, I'll do a round, but that's yeah, it. Fuck them up. Like this, I, I assume you told most people, if you were to tell someone, you're like, hey. It's Wait, it was raised to 2,000? Yeah. It's, on the turn? I don't, I don't remember. That's why he can't. But if and, I get a sense that there's a give player or two that, that don't like that, I'll just the stay out of the trouble. He can yeah. only tell and you how much it is. Then because yeah, they don't want to do it, you know? Hooker Bunny asking about previous action, which the dealer cannot tell her. This was a bit of a weird spot in the hand. Poker Bunny asked what the action was on the turn, if it was raised to 2,000. It was raised to 2,000. She would be correct if she was believing that. The dealer can obviously not tell a player what the previous action was. I think she knows that, and as a high stakes pro, she should definitely be able to keep track of the action. I think this is just, you know, something she was thinking about. Maybe she forgot, maybe she wasn't for sure. But yeah, I don't think there's any excuse on not knowing the action in this spot. She would agree with that. So we're gonna continue in this hand, see what she does. I just I just pulled out of tomorrow because I have to Oh, work. then I'm out. No. Barry signs up for Friday, but he doesn't show up. Uh, I'm out of I play more Fridays than you have. I no, I just want. I just the game that I just I just know his triggers. You know oh, his triggers. Yeah. I know his triggers. I know, his triggers. You I know, got there, right? I know the so face why, that comes. Here's the face that comes with that comment. Call five thousand. Call five thousand. Poker Bunny just calls. Pot is now seventeen thousand four hundred. You want to run a ten or a jack? And that's a four. Oh, wow. Poker Bunny's hand goes up in flames. Ronnie had a few outs there. A queen, a king, a four, and he hits one of them. Oh. This is a brutal, brutal river for Poker Bunny. The board is now queen, queen, three, four, four, and Ronnie's queen is now the best hand. Let's see how Ronnie plays this and how Poker Bunny responds. What a terrible river card for Poker Bunny and what a fortuitous one for our own Ronnie here. I would have lost a lot more money on this one. I think I'm, I probably raised the turn. And Ronnie, Ronnie, the funny thing is Ronnie hates the river because he's thinking, oh, fuck, I'm chopping, I'm chopping it now with Queen Jack and Queen Ten, right? Little does he know that he like, is way behind. I'm to a queen. I mean, I'm like, I mean. That's why I'm not Yeah, six spot here for Poker Bunny. I have to assume she was going to check raise all in on the river and instead, now she's thinking about check folding. Crying call there from Poker Bunny. She's angry about this one. That is a frustrating hand for Poker Bunny for sure. And a nice one for Ronnie. I like your river play, Ronnie. The four? You played the four well. That's a bad beat. The double beat. And here's another. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Can't get away from that. So lucky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't want it. Even if she shows on the flop or the turn, he calls. Yeah, she oh, saves yeah. money. They run twice and top. They don't. They she doesn't do. Do you do twice? Do you do twice? You do twice. And that is the end of that one. She ends up making this call for six thousand dollars. It's such a small call. She most likely just has to make this call with with the price she's getting. But I mean, what what hands don't beat her at this point? So I'm not sure, maybe she could fold there, maybe not. I don't know, I'd probably not fold either. Barry mentioned she did save money by just calling the flop in turn. I would certainly like to hear her thoughts on why she just called the turn instead of raising. 
In this case, it did work out quite well for her to lose the minimum, but overall, obviously, it's a very tough hand and one that she is not too thrilled about. If you all have not seen my interview with Poker Bunny, check it out right here, but I think she played it fine. I think the only close decision is on the turn. Let me know what you guys thought about this hand. Thanks for watching. I'm going to analyze a hand from Rampage on the stream next. Stay tuned.